Hello everyone again, this is Carlos from Live Gaming Paradise and we are back with another tutorial for Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This is a phenomenal game and I can't stop playing it. So this time we have a mission which is one of the shrine uh, missions. It's uh, stranded on Eventide. That's an island and you need to either get a raft and uh, make your way here or you can glide but you need to have a lot of stamina to get in here you need to have a full wheel of extra stamina to get in here uh, I tried it before and I couldn't do it and this time I got a little bit more stamina and since I got my sword with the 13 hearts I decided to make my way down here and do this properly okay so uh, when you get to the island you get taken all your gear completely you have nothing you just have to pick up everything that you're going to need and you have to defeat baddies with nothing at all. So just steal their weapons and hit hit them with it and uh, soon enough you're going to be having uh, an arsenal of uh, weapons at your disposal. But to begin with you need to scavenge for food, weapons and uh, three um, bowls that you need to put in strategic places. It's, it's a really good mission. It takes a long time to complete, but it is quite good. And you do get quite a little, nice bit of gear, but you do lose it at the end when they give you back your original gear. So uh, a lot of running around. I sped up most of the parts that are running around. Uh, I try to do my best not to bore you with uh, running uh, because that, that is um, you know annoying to see somebody run all the time because this island is quite big and... Uh, from, to get from one part to another it takes quite a bit of time but I try to minimize your your the time that you have to watch me running so first make your way to the west part of the island and pick up some bananas that grow in here and there's also a um, an axe that you can pick up uh, here on the left hand side so pick up the bananas they are growing in um, palm trees banana trees and um, so because you're gonna need these ones at the later stage when if you get hit that's it you, you're gonna need them definitely so grab as much food as you possibly can there are some crabs on the beach as well so if you want to grab some of those you can eat them and there are there's some livestock as well uh, like um, bulls and um, uh, goats and things like that so there's an axe there in the center just make yourself a couple of blocks and you should get there in no time. Uh, when you're getting out, just be careful because if you fall onto the mud, then that's it. You're dead straight away. So, But you just you start right here if you die, so it's not a big, big issue. Uh, and then keep going, make yourself up to the big rock. There's going to be a camp of um, baddies in here, so you should um, just... The easiest way that I could find is to glide over to the top one the isolated one but i tried to hit it and uh, the first time i did this and uh, i came out of it it's very difficult to land on it so just get rid of the, that center one because you will shoot arrows at you and you don't want them to distract you when you're killing the other ones all of these little flamey things they are annoying you know you're going to get them everywhere you know if you can escape them if you don't have to um to fight anyone nearby then then you're all right but if you if you're fighting someone nearby they're going to annoy you big time uh, you can use all of your powers as well all of the things like the making of ice blocks the the bombs and things like that you can use all of that these ones are easy you can get rid of them very easily uh, but the ones the, with the gray the, those ones are a bit harder but you know uh, the, one of the things I could find is like he's shooting arrows at you. You can just pick up all these arrows, so you know you're gonna need them. Uh, I didn't need them in this part, but if you faced with another enemy or if you miss on a giant, then you're gonna need some of these. But definitely you're gonna need a couple to to hit the giant's eye. But that comes a little bit later in the game. So get rid of this guy and steal his bow. Another thing you're gonna need is bows. So make sure that you kill him and get all the loot that he drops out. And uh, when you kill this one, there's going to be, on this platform that they were sitting on, there's going to be a ball up there. 
Now what you want to do, you can take it to the nearest one, which is at the top of the hill, but it's probably best that you do the water first. If you do the water first, that, that, then that's out of the way and you'll be able to concentrate on a giant and on the top of the rock. So all you need to do now is go and grab that ball and just make your way to the one on the water. These rocks are everywhere and I'm trying to pick up all the loot that they dropped, but I ended up picking up rocks just rocks so there's gonna be a sword up here in his chest so pick up that sword and oh it's a bow actually no the sword is on the other side it's a bow and these barrels as well they're next to the balls you pick them up all the time now this part in here is a lot of running so I sped up most of this video so you need to, all you need to do is really run all across where you came from go on the beach and keep running until you see that platform in the middle of the water to get the ball on there is easy as well so just throw the ball into the water don't if it's too close to the rock then you're not going to be able to put a nice block underneath it so get it away from the block and create a nice block under the ball and you should it should stay up there if it slides out just do it again uh, eventually you're going to be able to to get this this bit done but it, it is a little bit annoying that you put a, a nice block underneath there and the ball just rolls off it but this time it didn't roll it's, it stood up there so that's brilliant and then all you do just pick it up and throw it to the other side try to hit the center if you can if it falls on the water again, then just repeat this process. Then you can just glide in. Don't need to create any other blocks. Pick up the ball and put it in, into the platform. And that's the first one done. There's two more to go. So now all you need to do is just get out of this uh, side here. Um, and make your way over to the rock on the far right. So on the east side from where you came from. So just keep walking down there. And uh, there's going to be some baddies on top of the rock. So just be aware of that. There's going to be a, a sword down here and a spear, so pick up the little things that are, are laid across the beach. And there's going to be some of these uh, things throwing uh, rocks at you from the sea. They are really annoying as well. Uh, just try to get rid of all these little things because they're going to annoy you when you, when you have to defeat the giant. So the least you have to do, the better. Just um, shoot an arrow at the jellies and that will like electrocute the all the baddies around them so that's a uh, that's a bonus and the, you know it takes quite a big chunk out of their health and then you just be able to defeat them really easily uh, there's three of them up here so just try to get rid of them as quickly as you can and there's a lot of loot up here as well and we're gonna do some preparation before we actually entice the giant up here these little guys, they are annoying, but you should be alright, you should be alright, as long as you've picked up some weapons like I told you through the tutorial. Pick up all the loot that they drop, and all the weapons, and pick up the food that is on the stake, and then you're gonna, we're going to do some preparation to get everything ready for when the giant comes up here, we can just do some sneaky stuff, and uh, we won't have to defeat the giant at all. It's quite a nice little trick and uh, I came I came to it by accident and uh, I thought oh wow I can do it like that and I don't have to like you know spend countless lives trying to do to beat the giant with a web with so little arsenal if I had my normal weapons it would be no problem but at the moment I've got almost nothing so uh, it'll be better to just do as um, as little as you can so push these rocks down the cliff and try to point it at the giant. He's asleep. He's sleeping down the bottom. That one didn't hit it, but this one is gonna hit it, and he's gonna wake up. You know, just entice him up here. Here we go. So he's waking up now. He's very angry at you, and he can see you up here just with one eye, but he can still see you. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna entice him up here. Just you know. Um, make sure that he can see you at all times because you'll go back down and you'll just. Um, go back to sleep and then you you know you have to get out of the area so that the rocks can spawn again and you can wake him up the same way so uh, if he does go back to sleep just you know just get out of the area go towards the other side of the beach where you came from 
and the rocks will spawn again and then you can come back and push the rocks again and wake him up so when he's coming up the the hill here all you need to do is hit his eye the first he's gonna he's gonna start crying and he's gonna sit down and the the ball that you want is on his neck it's very difficult to grab it if the if for the first time you can't do it just do it again just hit him in the eye he'll fall down and go close to the ball and he should come pick up so that's it I picked it up so now run for your life you know because he's chasing after you he wants that ball you just nicked from a giant and that's not a good thing once the ball goes inside he's right next to me I need to just quickly run off that cliff and uh, and like this you won't have to defeat it so two gone and one to go when you get down go to the right side of the of the mountain and destroy the boulders on there that are blocking the chest that is underneath it just throw a bomb at it and he, and he explode the bomb and that's uh, that's really it there's going to be I think a spear inside this one so pick up the spear it's a soldier spear and now you're going to need to make your way up the cliff and uh, most likely it will be raining and you're going to have to wait until it stops raining so you can go up the cliff because you won't be able to do it no matter how, ma how much stamina you got um, when it's raining it's going to be impossible for you to do I uh, um, started climbing when it wasn't raining and then it started raining it was just annoying I had to climb all of that or the, the last leg in the rain but I managed to do it okay so up here there's going to be baddies everywhere and you haven't got too many weapons so you know try to minimize your interaction with these guys try not to defeat them get away from them if you can get away from them then that's the best option so use your stance your time um, power and you're gonna you're gonna hit this rock a number of times I tried with a spear it doesn't work so if you get like a club or sword that should be all right uh, if it doesn't work the first time then you just just uh, use use uh, another weapon I got this uh, dragon bone boko club and it, that worked so uh, freeze the stone and then hit it as many times as you can and it, once the the time um, um, the time power disappears the the stone will just fly off the top of the platform where you need to put the ball in try not to um, try not to let all of them see you because if they all come at the same time it's gonna make your life a misery so try to just entice a couple to, to, to come and fight you then you can defeat one at a time because the ball is right here so you don't really need to defeat all the other ones you just need that ball put it into that platform and then it's gonna be okay you don't need to uh, fight all of them and uh, and and lose because you will eventually lose if because there's not much um, there's not much uh, you haven't got very good weapons so once you defeated all the ones that are close to where the ball is then we, all you have to do is just grab your arrows now and just shoot try and shoot, shoot the ones on the platforms all you need to hit them in the head once and they're gone uh, the one on the far right you don't need to do anything to it he can't even see you look he's look He's, he's looking at you but he's, uh, he's easily avoidable and there's another one uh, further down that one you don't want to you don't want to mess about with him because he can easily uh, defeat you and uh, that's not a good thing just uh, just put the ball in first you've got the puzzle completed then you deal with them when you get your weapons back it's the easiest way I could find and I've done this a few times to get it you know a hundred percent now once you put that third ball in what's gonna happen is the shrine is gonna raise from the ground and uh, this one I can't remember exactly what it's called but I know that you that it's very easy the chest is inside you just have to walk to it nothing to it and you'll have another safe point on even tide um, but very very uh, difficult bit if you don't know what you're doing if you get some tips from these guides that I'm making now then you, you it's gonna make your life much easier so um, the shrine is at the top of the hill still so you still need to go up but because now it's um, 
it's raining you won't be able to go up now unless you use your power of flight but uh, but uh, defeat the other ones first because they'll drop a few goodies then go up and now you got all the weapons so you don't have to worry about anything you got loads of food as well you got all your food back all your weapons back you you have no issues now should be able to defeat them very easily like I've defeated that big one which took me easily 10 minutes to defeat on the weapons that I had before I've defeated him with two arrows that's it it's done it's very very easy once you get your weapons back so pick up all the loot that they drop and um, destroy any boxes that you see around and they all have like a fruit fruit inside so uh, grab as much as you can because now everything that you've grabbed now is gonna you're gonna remain with it so you might as well just grab the food while you're here uh, so it's the Kogu Chide, Chide Shrine, Chide sh Shrine, I think that's how you pronounce it, I don't know if it is. So this one is very easy of course, It's uh, you just have to, like I said, walk to it and uh, there's no um, puzzles that you need to do, you just have to walk inside, go down and run to the chest and then run to, the, to get your uh, orb. Okay, so I hope these videos are really helping you guys. You know, I'm putting a lot of effort into making them, and I appreciate when you guys when you guys give me a thumbs up and um, comment and uh, tell me just how uh, you know if I helped you or not. It's really rewarding to actually make videos and having people watching them and actually taking something from them. I hope you like it. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more content like this. I'm going to bring a lot more content on Zelda and all these shrines and all these uh, puzzles. I love, absolutely love this game. I hope you, um, you uh, give me a thumbs up as well. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.